Now that I got it all pulled up here, we are looking at the Cigar Aficionado Top 25 Cigars of 2022. And this is going to be my thoughts of what I think of this list. Um, you know, in the past, there's selections I totally agree with this list. There's times they've selected stuff on this list. I don't know what the fuck people are smoking. <laughs> no pun intended. But um, in that case, let's take a dive in at uh, number 25 of Cigar Aficionado's top 25 list of 2022. At number 25, they have the Placencia Reserva Original. Now... I would say the Placencia, you can make an argument for any one of the Placencia cigars to be worthy of being on this top 25 list. I don't know if the Placencia original is their better cigar. It's good. But I think out of all their skews, I don't think that this belongs on this list any more than the Almafuerta, the Almafuego, the Concecha 146, or any of those. But it is on the list. Um, I don't hate it. You know, it's a Nicaraguan Puro made in their factory. It scored 92 points, $8.24 MSRP. All right. Number 24, La Gloria Cubana Classic, which, under the auspices of Ernesto Perez Carrillo, when he was making the cigar, this was his original brand before it was bought up by Cigar Aficionado. These were fantastic cigars. I'm not going to say they suck, under General Cigar or STG. But they're definitely not as good as they were uh, under the auspices of Ernesto Perez Carrillo. Nonetheless, I do like the Lagoria Cubano line. It, it is quite tasty. I don't hate this line, even under General Cigars. I question the motives for the classic making this list. Um, we know that General Cigar or STG buys a lot of advertising in Cigar Aficionado Mag, so this for sure plays into it in this case. Because even in the Gloria Cubana line, there is better skews than this one. And even this one is not as good as it was under Ernesto Perez Carrillo. It's Dominican and Nicaraguan filler, uh, Nicaraguan binder, Ecuadorian wrapper. It's a nice blend, but um, I don't know. Let's go to number 23. At number 23, we got the Espinosa Knuckle Sandwich. So this, from what I understand, is the cigar that... Um, Guy Fieri kind of did with Espinosa. Um, I haven't had it to speak poorly of it. The way people are talking about it online, and I, some of the people talking about it online, I kind of respect their opinion on, on cigars. Um, they're not wowed by it, and if they're not wowed by it, again, I question why it's on Cigar Aficionado's Top 25. Um, Espinosa makes great cigars. There is skews Espinosa makes that if you put it on this list, I would not argue it. But in this case, the knuckle sandwich, from reviews I've heard, don't know why it's on this list besides the fact that maybe it's tied with Kai Fieri. All right, number 22. Tatuaje Capa Especial Cojeta. Great cigar. Another one in the, in the Brown Label series. I'm sure the cigar belongs top 25. I mean, you can pick almost any cigar with the Tatuaje name on it and say that, that this is top 25 worthy, and you're never going to get an argument for me on that one. But I will say that I like this Reserva that I'm smoking, the Tatuaje Reserva, the K222. They got number 13 back in 2021, better than this cigar. But that's not saying this is a bad cigar. This cigar definitely belongs on this list and probably belongs higher than uh, number 22 at 92 points. $9 MSRP, made in the My Father factory in Nicaragua. Nicaraguan binder filler and Ecuadorian wrapper, as the brown labels are. Great little cigar. Number 21. The Alegria. Um, I've seen these around, never had one. I have no opinion on this. It's made by Aganor Salif. It's a Nicaraguan Puro. Um, from what I've had from Aganor Salif, it's decent. I don't have much to say on this cigar or Aganor Salif, so I'm just going to leave this one alone. I, I have no opinion on this placement. At number 20, Casa Magna Colorado Robusto. I believe it was 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011 or something like that. It was like four years in a row that Casa Magna, I think it was the Robusto, this cigar, made Cigar Fistinato's Top 25. 
Um, this is one of those, the, the Casa Magna Colorado, especially in the Robusto size, is one of those cigars, every time I smoke it, I'm just reminded of how much I love this cigar. Made by the Manuel Quesada and the Placencias. Um, Nicaraguan Puro, medium body, made in the Dominican. Fantastic cigar. Uh, what do they got here? I mean, it used to be like 5 bucks MSRP. It's now up to eight ninety MSRP. Can't hate anyone for that. Does a cigar block top 25? This cigar, the Casa Magna Colorado, is probably one of the most... One of the cigars people sleep the most on, but probably belongs in the top 25 every year. It is so consistent and so good and so well-priced. Um, I don't know how anybody can argue that Casa Magna Colorado is just not a top 25 cigar every year. It's, it's fantastic... I can't tell it. it. It probably belongs higher than 20, if I, if I, if I had to be honest. Number 19. Garbage. Number 19 is garbage. The San Cristobal. It's not good. It's never good. You lose points on me when you use a Cuban trademark right off the bat. Why? Come up with your own brand. If I come up with a shoe company tomorrow, I'm not using Nike or Adidas. I'm going to come up with my own shoe company name. San Cristobal, they're taking a Cuban trademark. Uh, this is another, this might be General Cigar again, or let me see, who is it? I mean, this one's made in my father's cigar factory, I'll give it that. But this one, oh, it's owned by Ashton. So, in this case, Ashton makes good cigars. It's made in the my father's cigar factory. So maybe I'm a little more harsh on it because they're taking the San Cristobal name. But I've had this cigar. It is not a top 25 cigar. It's a good cigar. Like, top 25 cigars is like, Less than 1%. You know what I mean? It's the tippity tippity top. It's the best of the best of the best. It's the Top Gun Flight School of cigars. And the San Cristobal does not belong in it. Bat number 18. I've seen the Brick House in Top 25 before. It's fine. It's a fine cigar. I would argue... It's not a top 25 cigar. It's a great cigar. Um, I recommend this cigar all the time to people that come in the shop. I recommend this cigar to novices all the time because there's no notes in it that's going to offend you. I do like the Churchill size in the Brick House. But Brick House, a top 25 cigar at number 18? I don't know. I don't know. 